Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum, free Cisco modeling lab. Yes, starting 2.8.0, you can download CML software and run it on your workstation, on your laptop. And what do you get? You get five node topology. So you can run five node at a time. And I think this is good enough for any kind of like a lab conceptualization. You can run spine leaf, you can run MPLS and other kind of topology. But that is not the agenda for this video. In this video, we are going to discuss what is new with CML 2.8.0 and what do you need to know before you upgrade to that release. That let's go to software.cisco.com. Here you can see 2.8 is available as free tier and 2.8 is latest. However, 2.72 is still recommended release at this point of time. Here you can find two packages. One is 2.8 server upgrade package. That means if you are existing customer, you can download this package and go to 2.8 release. However, another interesting thing is within 2.8, we are getting new node definition. Yes, we, you can get Firepower node, SD-WAN nodes. And for that reason, we have new refplat.iso available. So go ahead and download both the software package and refplat iso let's look at the 2.8 release note because reading the release note is very important here you can see if you are running 271 or older you cannot directly upgrade to 2.8 you must be running 272 for minimum to upgrade to 2.8 in my case my server is running 270 that means i cannot go to 27 2.8 I have to go to 272 first and then from there we'll take another leap and go to 2.8. So where once you are in sysadmin console, you can go to software update and this software upgrade is only for security patches. It's a good idea to keep your server patched. So let's go ahead and install all the security package uh, patches. Then I'm going to shut down anything running, any lab running, because that is one of the key requirement before you upgrade your cluster. Go to tools, upgrade system, and here you are going to upload the actual software or the upgrade package. Things to note, before upgrade you need to do three things. Your lab must be stopped, compute nodes must be in registered state, and you need to put the cluster in maintenance mode. That's what I just did. So our labs are stop we are in running maintenance mode so that you can see a orange banner here and if you have multiple users it will shown at their ui so they know that some maintenance work is going on now go to software upgrade and upload the software package you can see i have uploaded 272 because i cannot go to 2.8 directly so first we are going to 272 and you upload the software package from admin ui and then for upgrade you ba go back to your sys admin console which is port 9000 and hit upgrade cml software upgrade upgrade so you have uploaded the image via admin ui however the actual upgrade happens via sys admin here you can see i'm running into some issues and it is complaining about that and i figured that i forgot to put compute host into registered mode so let's go ahead and check that for that what we are going to go we are going to do go to system ad administration compute host here you can see i have just one host that admission state is set to ready we are going to toggle that and set it to registered mode because that's one of the key requirement or prerequisite for upgrade once you do that go back to your sysadmin console and this time hit upgrade the packages should be copied all good and you will see that 272 software will come into effect however we need to restart the system you can see setting up cml 272 finish executing on all compute node so it is completed finish cml software upgrade that is available from log now the final thing is we need to restart the services and to do so what you can do you can go to sysadmin console overview here on the top right you will see a restart 
column and you can restart your node. Once you restart to your node, you need to log in again. I'm going to log in with my username sysadmin and we are in sysadmin console here and you can see the new software image is 272. Let's verify it from admin UI. You can see we are presented with the telemetry warning because this is something new in 272. And right now, both the prerequisite are there. Compute host in, is in registered mode. We are running maintenance mode. So let's keep it like this because we want to do one more upgrade. We want to go to 2.8. So let's do that. Go to upgrade system. This time we are going to upload 2.8 software package. Once you select that, click upload image. And it will take some time, depending on the connection speed. All right, software package was uploaded. Copy RefPlet ISO. We will come to RefPlet ISO once we we are done with 2.8 software upgrade. So let's save it. But I just wanted to highlight that where you are going to do RefPlet.ISO. So 2.8 upgrade is successful. Now I'm just going to restart the service. And to save some time, I didn't show you the upgrade log again, but you got the idea because we you have already seen one upgrade at least. Okay, so services are restarted and we need to reconnect. Here you can see this is a new login, CML2. Now we can focus our attention to the flat ISO, copy node and image thing. So how you can attach RefPlet ISO, you can do it via two things. One, if it is a virtual CML, then what you can do, you can attach the new RefPlet.ISO as CD and DVD media. You may have something attached previously, but don't worry about that because that ISO has been already copied to the node. So it is safe to remove that and attach a new ISO. Here, as you can see, it says that you can copy multiple RefPlet ISO and it will not affect your existing node and image definitions. So that is one way to start using your new node and image definition by attaching RefPlet ISO as CD and DVD. However, since I have this .iso file sitting locally in my machine, I don't feel comfortable mapping at a, as a remote CD DVD. What else I can do? I'm going to rely on the second option, which is use SCP to copy the RefPlet ISO to the CML server. Because SCP somehow, it's a little bit more reliant and I can make sure that the entire big ISO file is copied to the CML node. And here is a sample command how you can copy it to CML server. SCP RefPlet ISO name, so whatever file you downloaded from software.cisco.com and then SSH to your node and save it as RefPlet underscore image dot ISO. So here you can see on my local machine, I have that ISO sitting in a folder and I'm using the same SCP, SF, SCP command so that I can save this or transfer this to my CML server. And as you can see, the SCP process is going on. It is a big file, so uh, feel free to step aside, grab a cup of coffee and come back. However, to save some time, I'm not showing you the entire uh, transfer. Here you can see it is 100% complete, 11 GB of ISO file transfer happened here. All right, so this is sitting in my CML server. And if you're interested where it is stored, it is stored in var local viral2 drop folder. So once it is copied, restart the controller services via CML2 page, and it's all the instructions are there. Let's see if we can access that storage location. I am logged into 
CML terminal and CD var local viral 2. From there, we want to go to drop folder and see the ISO file. However, you can see I don't have the right permission because drop folder is not owned by root, but it is owned by www hyphen data. So that's okay. We are going to ignore that. Um, I don't want to go and change permission, but you got the idea that this folder was modi modified as of today. So we can live with that. Let's go ahead and restart the services. And this time what you can do, restart CML services. You don't have to restart the node, but you can simply restart the services. Wait for it to complete. And it is recommended to stop all labs. However, our labs are already uh, shut down, so not a problem. And finally, copy reflet ISO. So what it is going to do, it is going to look at the storage location or that folder and start copying that as a node image and definition so that it is part and parcel of your software. Now let's do the validation. Let's log into the UI. So we have done two things. We have upgraded the software to 2.8 and we also copied the reflet ISO. So let's roll back now. Let's come out of the maintenance state. So first we are going to put the compute in regular state which is ready so that it is connected. And second, system maintenance, we want to turn off since system maintenance so that we can start powering on the lab. Now the final piece of val validation, go to tools, node and image definition and you will immediately see the en enhancement that is FTDV, SD-WAN Edge, SD-WAN Controller, and FMC. These are the new image or node definition that is available for your lab. So this is the reason you want to go to 2.8 and this is really exciting. So go ahead, upgrade your cluster to 2.8 and take advantage of new and exciting SD-WAN and FTD controllers. Thank you.